All right. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Josh Value Working Group meeting of October 7. Um, please add yourself if you have not or if you want. And the agenda, first thing in the agenda is to review the comments on the two release matrix. Uh, before I proceed to that, uh, Sean, you have released one, uh, you have created one issue, but uh, that metric was not discussed and I was not sure what it is. So can you guide, like contribute in that recommendability? Uh, hang on. Just to be, I think this is the, where we have a, I don't know, I have to look at my issues. I've posted a Change. link on, in the oh, chain. Oh, okay. Okay. Posted the link in the. Is it a PR or an issue, Bernard? It's just an issue with a checklist of release metric. I was not sure what it is and um, like uh, I've even commented it and even the Georgia's right. comment. Oh, okay. This is the contributor net recommendability metric. I think we just said we were going to, I think what I've taken to do is uh, I've taken to just creating the issue first and then the pull request because they were sort of refer to each other circularly. So yeah, yeah this can just wait until the next one. Okay, that's fine. Otherwise, I was like, I don't know, this was not discussed in the meeting in any of the meetings and it came all of a sudden I was I lost. wonder if a, a contributor network, this feels like a value working group thing. I feel like we would have discussed it unless this came from, man, I don't I, remember. When did I create I this I feel issue? it like come from the China working group. I see. Yeah, Uzi I see. Bank. Yeah. And yeah, so I was not sure on that. Maybe. 15 days ago, that would have been on a Wednesday. That, that, very, that may very well have come out of the Asia Pacific group because that would be the day of their meeting. What number is this one? 161. Uh, 161, issue 161. And there's a Google Doc in that. Uh, let me post a Google Doc. Can we actually see the time this was posted? Uh, Instead of just the, it, but not yeah, just 15 days ago. I don't think the front end, yeah, I don't think the front end gives you gives you that. It's it's buried in the data. Because I was gonna say if we could if it was if it was posted at 8 a.m. Wednesday, yeah, exactly 30 a.m. Wednesday, yeah. then I know it came out of the Asia Pacific call. <laughs> exactly. And I, I don't know what else it would have come out of. I don't know where else like a random Wednesday issue created by me would have come from. DEI, yeah. that's the only other working group we have on Wednesdays. And, and I this, this is not a DEI thing. No. No. So maybe you have discussed it and later on you might have posted it. So. Yeah, I'm looking at the Asia Pacific notes 15 days ago. Yep, we worked on, yep, that's what we did in that meeting is we worked on contributor net recommendability. And okay. I created an issue in value. So it is, yeah, it's out of the Asia Pacific group. It's in the What is that group. Um, we actually worked on it in the in the working group. And- Wasn't I there or was I not there? I, maybe you weren't. Uh, you were oh, not- Oh, no, I wasn't because, because no, I couldn't. One. Yep, no, I wasn't at that one. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm sure I just created the issue because it, it, it without creating, it, it just because because that's circular logic and that's kind of like a pointer for us to go back to and create the pull request. But yeah, it's so, totally for the next release. No okay. no dispute there. So should I change the uh, label from metrics release to hold till we yeah. finalize it for the next release? Yeah, if you're using metrics release as a tag that yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then yes. just take that tag off of it. Okay. Maybe we could make a new tag. Come to think of it, like uh, for next release or 
something like that. Yeah, that's probably not a terrible idea. No, yep. we have a we have the tag called metric idea. You could just put that on there. Yeah, that's uh, I, that is adequate to the task. Metric idea. I good first issue is for no. I, maybe we don't have it in. I, metric yeah. these notes uh, well, just make it. metric okay just metric make it idea. Yeah. yeah every we repo have... has to create its own tags and it's kind of silly but it'd be nice if they were org Great. level but whatever I, I agree i'm sure there's probably someone to do that if we buy github enterprise yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i've created metric idea and i'm assigning this one to this particular issue then It's like there, I don't remember anything I did before OSS Summit. <laughs> nope. It was still so good to be there. I just can't. It was. I just can't even. It was surreal almost. It was. Yeah. But like on a plane, in a hotel. Yeah. Seeing like, people I know face yeah. to face. Yeah. And like doing work, you know, that was that kind of work, which is so cool. But I'm, at, I'm in attendees where you at the ChaosCon. Ooh, probably, probably 35 or 40. That's about, I would have guessed about that, yeah. In person? That's yeah, good. in person. Yeah, Shit. yeah no kidding. <laughs> it was it was the it was the most heavily attended session session because it was a half day, but the most heavily attended session that I saw for the entire open source summit North America. Good group of people. And the next issue on the agenda is academic open source project impact uh, comments and feedback i've posted in the link it's issue 149. okay comments so do you have, have do you have a summary of these vinod or, or should we just take a look at them uh, i haven't made a summary of it there's just two comments. What one is like Elizabeth has proposed citation. Okay, so putting a citation of the GitHub as a option. In the tool. Okay. Yeah. And the second is in some case we are taking a formal repository citation in the people. What is the comment from B hack? I see that there. Yeah, it's same about the citation. So maybe the easiest way to accommodate um, Elizabeth and B hacks comments are to include them as references. Right. And then make some, you know, comment in the description like tools are available that include okay. you know what i'm saying okay. uh, sean are you taking a look at these two things yeah yeah the i mean i think we should mention um site site you like is that james's thing site as site as thank you i think we have mentioned it in the metric uh okay. yeah i think it's already in there Okay. It's already in there. So this is just a different sort of same thing. Yeah, it just looks like these are two different tools that kind of maybe yeah. do different things, but they're at least proximate to one another. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's totally fair to add that to that X archive is reputable. Well, yeah, GitHub, yeah. GitHub's yeah. reputable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, the GitHub yeah, one I, was, I hadn't been familiar with before. It's just, it looks like it's just a docu drop in there. Yeah. So we have added as site as. Uh, yeah, we have it. Yes, we have it. So the difference that I've mentioned is blog of site. Uh, so tools providing the metric, it could just okay. be included there. Okay. Okay. Find that. And then just update the references. 
Are you doing that right now? Mm -hmm. I can I can merge that. And then we need to also update the issue in the translations repo. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this GitHub one seems extraordinarily complex, complicated. Not for the faint. This is not for the faint of heart. And do we have to release that uh, label on the top? Let me share the screen. Maybe then it'll be easy for. Can I, I need to make you co-host? Probably. There you go. But the GitHub one does. I mean, despite its complexity. I mean, this yeah. would no, it's still it's still relevant. Absolutely. Okay. It, yeah, okay. I'm not saying don't include it. I'm just okay you know, compared to some of the other things I've seen. They really make you do a lot of work. So the question is, where would we put these? Because I mean, the, is the GitHub one's not a, actually a tool? I, th I think they're reference. I think they're either references have... or or okay. tools. I mean, I guess tools providing the metrics is sort of it. Sort of it, yeah. Okay, let's like, do that then. Yeah, I think the GitHub stuff and the X archive stuff belong under tools. Okay. GitHub is in the reference. GitHub citation. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Software. Can you see this line? Yep. 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 It is there. Well, can we add it in the tools providing the metric and then? There's, like there's, but is that different than insights uh, is not really it no the stop scrolling for a second that's a different thing than the other thing that was in the issue insights the papers with code this, client is this, what was in the yeah, issue this, which is this a totally different thing the... it's not actually owned by github it's just on github no 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 so uh, we have two um, things going on here so one is go back to the uh this one uh yeah okay. no go back to the okay. the actual yeah the metric so okay. one is on line 43 we have github right. insights right and i would say github insights is not not really about providing academic open source mm -hmm. citation so it's yeah it's not special so my suggestion is we change line 43 from github insights to GitHub citation files or something like that. And then we cite that citation line 50 right there. We, we, in line 43, we actually cite line 50. Do you see what I'm saying? Copy the reference. Yes, exactly. Yep. You can get rid of that dangling. Okay. And then and then I think we make a line, a new line, right? Exactly. And then it's the one that Sean had put in there, that one. This one. Okay. And so we say X archive blog or X, whatever, whatever this thing name is, not blog, but X archive code tab or something like that. Cool, I did not know about that. That's interesting. It is. And then add the link. Yep, add that link there. And then add that same line, basically just down in the references as well. Okay. The whole thing, even with the star, the asterisk. Just put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Yep. There. That's what I suggest. What do you think? Yeah. That way we've got them both. Insights really doesn't, it didn't, it wasn't doing it for me. Isn't insights just like the, like the people who are committing and stuff like that? 
that's what incites that tab right on that top in GitHub. Yeah. You know insights, I'm talking about? insights. Insights is, is just the yeah. I think it's just the tab on the top for, and it's not special for science. No, it's just like activity within the repo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is activity within the repo. Yeah, it's very coarse grained as well. Yeah. But what we have referred is like uh, GitHub is providing that option to uh, let you cite your repo in a API style or in a academic style. Yeah, that's so these are fine. Yeah. And then I think we should add as a contributor, probably, I don't know who BHAC is, but. Uh, I don't know whether they want to be on the list or not. Okay. Yeah. Not. Yeah, so we can just write, we have addressed both of your comments. Okay. Certainly they contributed. If they want to be on the list, they can be. Okay. So then I would just make a PR and I'll. Yeah, I can directly merge into the master if it is mm -hmm. fine, or I can create a PR. Just create a PR. We'll follow the okay. regular process. Okay. Okay. I, I think last time I talked about badges and then the ACM. Uh, artifact oh, yeah. as, yeah. as a signal of uh, of value in, in terms of the quality of a of a research software artifact. Uh, have you, did you discuss that in part? Or is yeah. that even relevant there? BHack is a TensorFlow contributor. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so. Johan, we didn't like it's, it hasn't made it into this metric. If you think it would be a, a tool that would tool kind of a program that would help highlight that value, I'm happy to include it. I mean, at this point, like the overhead on including it's pretty low, you know. Oh, I was just including for discussion last time because it's, I see it from a PC perspective, it's a, it's a sign of quality. Uh, yeah. Of, of a research software artifact attached to a paper. Um, but then how that is measured in terms of tooling, <laughs> I don't know, I don't where, then you have right. to look at the, uh, at the paper or the paper meta metadata in the research uh, article archive. I just thought. Okay. But not, I think it's B hack, not hack. Yeah, H A K, H A C K. It is B hack. And then wait, before you do this, there was one other thing. So go back to the document. Can you go back to editing? Okay, let me. It is in my PR now. Just, yeah, I don't know how to get out of this. Um, just create the pull request, or if you don't want to, if you want to abandon the pull request, just click on the repo. But can you abandon this pull request and still keep the changes we just did? Oh, it depends yeah. if you, you no. Know, See what I'm know. saying? Yeah. Because there was but, one more thing. Yeah, you can just create the PR. and Create then, the PR and then just, at, you can just edit the files in the branch that gets created. Yeah. So let's go to that. Yep. Yeah, and then just metal go to auto, your branch. Metal auto update. Okay. And just go to the Vinod patch one up on top. Yeah, right there. You didn't add a DCO, but yeah. And then go back to the metric. Focus areas, probably. Go to focus areas. On the top or there. Academic value. Yep. Yep. And then edit that. And let's go back to the, okay. So scroll down again. So under the tools providing metrics, I mean, honestly, again, like see, oops, stop. So at line 46 or I'm, yeah, rule 46, this yeah. is the same as like, I don't see how LFX Insights provides any sort of. Yeah, it's the same as GitHub Insights. It's like GitHub Insights. Insights. Well, it's less useful. 
you're being recorded i know it's, like, it's, not, it's not like i'm speaking something that people aren't aware of so i would get rid of that as well and then let's take a look at what johan had brought up to was with respect sean could you i think it's the artifact review and badging and you share the link yeah, is I'll it in the this. chat yeah i'll, I'll yeah. put it in the chat so yeah, the oh, current this, version is it, badging 1.1 1. 1. there's a link below the subject line that oh was there it's like a, a newer yeah, there's a newer up, version you know, scroll up vanad Yes. Keep uh, going. Chat. Go to the top. Yeah. I'm at the top. Then just redirect us to the current. It's just, uh, yes. yeah. This one. yeah. I don't know what the difference is, but it's more current. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all I know. Pretty, Ooh. wow, pretty, this is pretty, pretty artifacts re results replicated. Like they have, like the highest level is results replicated, which I don't know what you do to establish that other than like having someone else run your code. I guess the question is, does this, does this kind of help this metric with respect to yeah drawing this really, yeah. yeah this is yes. this is probably this is coming from a leading computing research organization and never heard of them <laughs> <laughs> you almost <laughs> fell for that yeah i know <laughs> yeah, i was like come on man <laughs> so let's why don't we also include this in that list Kind of the so, same way that we added the archive stuff. And then same like added in the references. Is it ACM badging or something else? Artifact review and badging. Should I accept that? Yeah, let's use their name. Yeah, okay. Maybe I keep ACM in the starting. Yeah, ACM is good. Okay. I mean, I, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's I don't know if it's actually from the ACM. It is. Is yeah, it? Okay. Yeah, these are oh, okay. actual ACM links. Okay. It's on the, is under all underneath acm.org. This is yep. too legit to quit. Okay. No idea who sang that song. Mm. Google will tell me in a minute. MC Hammer. Oh. Did you know that Elizabeth is followed by MC Hammer? I did not know that. <laughs> that is that is a fascinating piece of trivia. <laughs> For real, too. <laughs> okay, so I have another question because we talked, I think site has is is that a tool to add the DOI identifiers to open source projects in order to reference them? Yeah, it's a it's a standard way of putting a file into into a repo so that uh, set the site as software that James Howison at Texas developed can just scan the repo and find the related papers. So, uh, John, is it okay if I add your name as a contributor on this metric? Yeah, sure. I don't know how to write A with a small dot above, but 
Uh, is the spelling correct if I have written like this or do I yeah. need to change it? That's okay. Okay. Because I was thinking there are, there are other, uh, like Sinodo, when I read your papers, I, I see different links that are like using the Sinodo service to uh, that highlight or go to open source projects. Um, is that uh, something that can be used in order to, do they have it like an API or something? I can put the link in the chat. Yeah, you could. The next one is verified. The first one was not verified. Okay. To be able to merge this, or... PR, or do I have to reject it and add a DCO and do it? Uh, It is weird. What happens when you add your DCO? Uh, I don't know. I have added. I haven't added it in the first one. You can see the second one is verified. The first one was not verified. Yeah, I but see. It that. was the same. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Well, first, just add your sign off. I have, uh, here. Yeah, so you should just add the DCO bot to your browser. That's a lot easier. You don't have to do it now, but you just have to okay. put like Venata Huja and then okay, and then left angle brace, and then your email address, and then right angle brace should okay. take care Is of it. it. A, yeah, I have this like like this. Yeah. But uh, the question is, is it an add-on to the browser or? There is a, mm -hmm, there is a tool. Okay. And that, will that, do that will do okay. it. You just add that comment. Okay. And the DCO should at least pass at this point. Uh, Internet. Maybe Shauna, you can mark this. Uh, I can approve it, you mean? Yep. I heard, I heard what you were saying. I know exactly what to do. All right, do you want me to merge this then? I think yes. so, yeah. All right. Boom, merged. All right, and then we should go over to the translations repo. Yes. <clears throat> and do we create an issue there? We can just um, go off of the existing issue and just tack on to it and just say, hey, we made some updates based on So wherever it is there, yep. So add the, re-add the Chinese label. I cannot do that. I don't have oh. it. What's okay. the issue number? It's uh, 86. 86. I and then it. just say we have updated the metric based on feedback. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I'm still always like fascinated when things like update without reloading pages. I just, I, don't, I know it's kind of old, but. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's also, it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> you know, it depends on how good the site is at keeping up to up to date with current browsers and JavaScript technologies. I know it's just still fascinates me. We are good with this one then. I think so. Next is organizational influence.
Oh, and then the only other last thing that you're going to need to do, Vinod, actually in yep. that prior one, you're going to have to pull off that disclaimer off the top. Oh, uh, okay. So now that that, let's just go back in there and do that really fast. Okay. Oops. Not that. Yep, I'm trying to. I guess secretly I'm okay with just committing right to the <laughs> main branch on this one. Yeah, I am too. Main branch is protected branch. Well, then just create a PR, that's fine. Yep. That's the signature. I'll take care of it. Did you make it? Okay. Okay. Doki, all good. It looks like Lucas is providing some detail. Yes. This a ratio number of contributors from each organization is more than one contributor number of contributors. So he's proposing rather than a number to make it a ratio for a particular organization. He has two comments. One, it's not clear from the writing whether this metric applies to a single org yep. that has undue influence or to any and all organizations. So if I go to the metric. Let's, I mean, how do you want to address this? I, I feel this is a, like a journal as a one organization influencing the community or the entirety. So uh, that is a main, uh, in my understanding is like influence on the community or to the project or not to the one particular, but it's more focused on influence on the community or a project. So yours is more broad? Yes. I, I mean, I read it the other way, actually, which is like a particular organization. Yes, a particular organization influencing a community or an open source project. OK, yeah. So I think maybe just we need to go through here. See, like at the top of the start of objectives where it says organizations can have influence 
Okay. Like we should just met, just keep changing that, go through the text and just change it so that it reads like an organization, you know, that we just always use. Because the, uh, the description says organizational influence is a measure of the influence that an organization has on an open source community. Then the next sentence starts like organizations. An organization, which is often, which is often, uh, what? I would just say an organization may influence the direction of a project. I don't know what that is. Just get rid of that, yeah. Which, I would get rid of that whole which are often large or enterprise corporation. It doesn't. An organization may influence the direction of a project, singling some level of control within a community. This equates to the level of influence an organization has over the development trajectory of an open source project that it contributes to and has vested interest in. So that reads a lot better. And that's just like so, an organization. Mm -hmm. Can I add, uh, like, uh, on that over the development of an open source project or community, or it'll be just fine with the open it's source fine. project? I'm fine with okay. just this. Okay. And then objectives and organization can have influence in open source projects, probably keep that consistent. Okay. The measure of the measure of an organization's influence. Can be enlightening on its own or serve as an opportunity to show growth in organizational influence over time and organizations influence over time. And put an and in front of that organization. This metric can help open source and open source advocate in an organization justified continue funding and support for engagement. This metric can also help open source maintainers track and measure organizational, I'm okay with that organizational influence to add legitimacy to their project and monitor the level of control by individual, by, by an organization. No, I think it's okay by individual organizations. Organizational influence may an organization's influence May also serve as a signal on how to, how easy or difficult it may be for new members to contribute to an open source project. Okay, so this is I think this is clearing up things probably that Lucas was bringing yeah. up. Some examples when to consider when measuring organizational influence include I'm okay with that. How many organizational members are contributing to a project? Level uh, level and types of contributions by organizational members, organizations that are contributing the change request at a higher rate in proportion to the community's level of activity. For example, one standard DVA. Okay, that's fine. Organizational members. I'm okay with all of these actually. So for these, yes, further propose some suggestions like make this a ratio rather than a number of contributors from each organization. Yeah, so okay. So I think we addressed his first point Yes. And then, so then the question is how many organizations? So he just, he, it looks like he, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, go back to the metric. These are the implementations. Two, four, six, seven. So he, it sounds like he basically just wants to delete these six points or seven points and use the text that he had in its place, is that right? Or are these additions? No, these are uh, changes. Like we have to use a single uh, count of organization. He's proposing making it a ratio. So number of contributors from each organization with more than one contributor number divided by number of contributors. So for example, 
here we are how many organization members are contributing to a project mm -hmm. so this can be a ratio like measuring it as a ratio rather than how many are contributing so it's so go back to the let me copy this and paste it over here there and then we can see the difference So I guess, so how many organization members are organizational members are contributing to a project? All right. Make so make this a ratio. So we could just add the line like, as determined, as understood through a ratio, such as. As. Was a ratio of and then get rid of the parentheses. Or that's okay. You could you could keep the parentheses, it probably makes it a little easier to read. So then, so his, the other comments though, make this, okay, so we got rid of that one. Yep, so now this one is done. Now it's a level and type of contribution, this one. Mm -hmm. Find a specific and a standard way to convert the level and type into quantity. This is what he's proposing for uh, this particular. What does that mean? Find a specific and a standard way to contribute, uh, convert the level and type into quantity. So, so this is a level and type of contribute by organization. This is more of a qualitative or judge, judgmental side, and he's asking us to convert it into a more quanti qualitative, uh, quantitative way. I don't really, sure how. Okay, I don't really understand that. I mean, you can differentiate between social and technical contributions. Okay. You look at commits and uh, like issue postings and comments. I think uh, okay, that makes sense. And, and then, I th then you can look at different different types of issues. If is it a bug fix or whatever? Sure, no, that makes sense. And I think I actually so to your point, Johan, I think we have that covered in the metric when we link out to the types of contributions. Because we do have a metric called types of yes. contributions, and it, it it's pretty open about what you just talked about, like technical or social contributions. So I think we actually cover this. It's okay. I yeah. We're just running out of time. Ivanod, yep. you're gonna have to clean this okay. up. Okay. So should we leave it as it is? I think so. I think it's okay. Okay. Organization. This one, and I think the standard division method is good. So this okay, is that's fine. just a comment. Okay. Yep. And then we have uh, organization member on the technical steering committee. Rank organization by count rather than user R count. Count by count of what? Uh, account number of positions on the board maybe yeah. but it, it says organizational members on the tsc yeah. rank or i think raw count of seats is better than the, the single rank okay so you just think the count is better than a rank yeah otherwise you lose the the, the relation for the relational okay. size difference. Okay. So then okay. Johan's suggestion based on what he's saying is just leave it as it is. Okay. Organization member in the government rank by count rather than account. It's the same thing for the governing board too. Rank. Rank by count. 
I would okay. So on all of those, yeah, let's yeah. not do the raw accounts. But I think it's worth pinging um, Lucas in the issue, asking him why he thinks raw accounts are better, or rank. I'm sorry, ranks are better. Rank by count. Just say we talked about this today. You know what I mean. Just and yeah, and could he explain the rationale behind using rank by count? Okay, so just yeah, I just add that comment. And then the last one, maybe we were out of time, but we could probably finish this up. So organization is sponsored. It's a proportion organization sponsoring. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. It's a proportion of the total. No, it would just say organization sponsoring an open source project as a proportion of the total. Total of all accumulated sponsorship funds. It sounds like, yeah, that's what he's trying to say. So if there's whatever, $10,000 in sponsorship and, you know, one organization A has given 9,900 of that dollars. It's important to know that. And then 20 other organizations have made up the difference. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, because there are different ways to to fund. I mean, either with so soft or hard funds, like through infrastructure and uh, yeah, whatever. You know, that's that's fair. I mean, because there are there are marketing. Like, yeah, well, and even like I mean, with the Chaos Project, you know, the Linux Foundation does a bunch of in kind work for us with us. You know, yes, yeah, especially the, the in kind work is is tough to to measure and then give give that sort of metric, uh, right. or, uh, yeah. All right. We're at, we're at time. Yeah. Yep. We had two minutes, so we're sorry for that. Uh, Alrighty. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Thank yeah. you. I'll Thanks create everyone. a PR for this and somebody then merge it. Okay. Yep. Thank okay. you. Bye. Right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Matt, you can send me a link. Yeah, I will. All right.